Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. A viewer left a question in one of my video's comment sections. They were requesting some assistance, so I figured I would cover this in a video today. Uh, their question was, they were shopping for 48 volt batteries for their 48 volt system. And they were seeing listings for 48 volt lithium iron phosphate and 51.2 volt lithium iron phosphate. What is the difference and will they work with their system? So I'm gonna briefly cover that today and hopefully help answer the viewer's question. All right, to help answer viewers' question first, I want to just reiterate, lithium iron phosphate batteries are 3.2 volts per cell and 48 volt inverters, generally speaking, some, some values are different, but generally 48 volt inverters will work anywhere from 40 to 60 volts. So when you're shopping for lithium iron phosphate batteries, you will see 48 volt nominal voltage batteries and 51.2 nominal volt batteries. Uh, the difference is the count of cells in each one. There are 48 volt nominal batteries. They have 15 cells in series, whereas a 51.2 volt battery has 16 cells in series. So if we take 15 cells in series, we multiply the voltages you know, of the cells in series, end up with 48 volts, whereas a 16S, you know, we end up at 51.2 volts. So if we're referencing a server rack battery, for instance, a 100 amp hour server rack battery, at both voltages. All right, so we're looking at a 48 volt one, you know, we will be at 4,800 watt hours, 4.8 kilowatts. And if we're looking at a 51.2 volt battery, a 100 amp hour version, it'll be 5,120 watt hours or 5.12 kilowatt hours. Now, if we were to take both of our batteries respectively and charge them to 3.65 volts per cell, our 15 as to 48 volt pack would only be at 54.75 volts, whereas our 51.2 pack would be at 58.4 volts. So could you use these together in the same system? No, it's not recommended. I mean, you can do what you want. Some people get a little little wild and, and mix the two, but generally, you know, not recommended. And I know there were 48 volt server rack batteries were pretty prevalent, you know, a year or two ago. I think most everything now is 51.2 volts. I think a lot of the descriptions and marketing, uh, you know, where the brands put stuff, they just say 48 volt battery. So you need to look down through the product specifications. What you're looking for, uh, I would recommend going with 51.2 volt because this is pretty much the industry standard, uh, very common. These are less and less common, but I did find some for sale that were truly 48 volt a 15 s pack so and the prices aren't that much different so you know if you were to buy and go set up your system this way you know not much of a price difference look how much less energy you're getting right here versus right here and also this system wouldn't work with four 12.8 batteries series together you know this system if you're going to do you know four by 12 that's the system you want to go with right there um like i said there's there's still some of this out here and a lot of the golf cart batteries by the way are marketed as a 48 volt battery because the golf cart community, you know, refers in nominal like lead acid voltage is like 48. But if you look at a lot of the golf cart batteries, look in their specifications, they're actually a 51.2 volt pack. So, I mean, you do what you want, but my recommendation, if you're looking to build a 48 volt system right here, go with this right here, 51.2 volt, double check your specs and double check it says either 16S in there or, you know, 5,120 watt hours in, in whatever battery you're looking for. You know, this is this is the standard right here. Just letting you know, you know, this, this stuff's still for sale right here. Uh, there's less and less and less of this than there was, you know, a while back, but it's still there. So just, if you're shopping, you know, pick one or the other and stick with it. Uh, hopefully this helps answer the viewer's question. Uh, if you like 48 volt stuff, a lot more of that coming. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Any other questions, put in the comment section.